Yo, as always, like, share, subscribe. Now let's just get into it. So Michigan is back practicing, trying to get ready for OSU. They I know they're trying to they're gonna try to play this game after Herb Street and everybody said Michigan's trying to duck them. So they're, they're, most likely they're gonna play the game. But with that being said, that's what you should do. Now, I know some fans are like, we 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 don't want to play them and all that. This football, this is a man's game. If you're going to lose, you take your butt whooping. You get out there and you take your butt whooping. Ain't no hiding. We're not going to play to keep them out the the, the playoff. You want to keep them out of it? How about we go out there and smack them in the mouth? How about we do that? How about you, you play better than you've played all year? How about you say, okay, we, we've had a bad season, but let's do something that hasn't been done in a long time. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to see. Now, let's, let's, let's get into these stats and stuff. People are going to say, what's the even point of this? I do, my, I do these videos for analysis on how Michigan can win. So that's what we're going to talk about. How can Michigan beat Ohio State, do the, one of the biggest upsets We've, we've seen. To do that, this is what I would do if I was the defensive, if I was the coach. So as far as that goes, Don Brown, let's, we, we got to start with you. Don Brown to the defense, it starts with discipline for one. Be disciplined. Know what you're doing execute it. Don't try to do too much. Don't try to do your teammate's job. Let that man do his job and trust your assignment so he can trust you. Like, you trying to do somebody else's job, that's how big plays happen because you you out of position trying to do your teammate's job. So, besides that, which is big, and when there's a play to be made on defense, make the play. If you got a chance to pick off a ball, catch the ball. Ain't no excuse for dropping picks that are right in your hands, Brad Hawkins, uh, Metellus, multiple years against OSU, Lavert Hill. Make the plays because they're going to make them. They're they going to make the plays. We ain't got to talk about that for them. But when we get the chance to make a, a game-changing play, make the play. But on defense, I want Master Teague and Trey Sermon to beat me. Those are the dudes that I want to, to make beat me. I don't want Justin Fields and Olave to be out there and they just dropping back and throwing it, throwing it uh, all over the place. And because they gonna they're gonna get out of hand with it. But I want them to beat me. The running backs. So, me personally, I'm dropping eight into coverage. I'm dropping seven into coverage. I'm, I want them to run it. I want them to try to run. I want them to not want to throw. And with that being said, because we know Don Brown with the blitz. You can blitz, but it has to be at the right time. You can't come out there doing what you like to do. They've exposed you way too many times, so you might as well get that out your head. Because you you come out there trying to blitz, they're going to put extra blockers back there. They have good coaches, so they know you're going to blitz. So they'll be ready for it. They'll have seven, at least six blockers in there all the time because they know you're going to blitz. Then you looking stupid on the sideline wondering why the blitz ain't getting in. Huh, it's not getting in because they got extra blockers. It ain't hard to figure out. So I want to keep Justin Fields in the pocket. I would probably mush rush, rush him. Keep him in the pocket so he can't get out and start doing stuff with his legs and, you know, getting seeing dudes downfield, hitting them, or either just picking us apart with his legs. Keep him in the pocket, and I'm dropping seven or eight into a zone or even man with two dudes over the top. I might even double Olave most of this game. 
I'm not just gonna stick Dax Hill on him. He's gonna he's gonna get he's gonna beat him. He's gonna beat him. No, I'm gonna double cover him. Nobody on their team has more than nine receptions. You know what that means? They're throwing it to Olave every time they get the chance. That's what that that's that's what those stats just told me. So I want Master Teague and Trey Sermon to have to win this game. Because you can Master Teague will take it 50 or 60, but it kind of has to the blocking, everything has to be good. He's not he's not like J.K. Dobbins, where he's just extremely dynamic. Like I'm not saying he's a scrub at anything, but he's just a different caliber of player. So if you play good defense and try to get these dudes in fourth and three, fourth and two, you have a chance. Give yourself a chance. Now, with that being said, if you do let them get yardage, because it's Ohio State, they're going to get yardage. When they get in the red zone, hold them to three. Can you do that, please? Can you do it? Hold them to three. The last two years we played them, I don't think they've kicked even any field goals or even had to try. They just scoring touchdowns, 14 a quarter, basically. So if you can limit the big plays, that's why you got two dudes over the top. Now, I know dudes, people are going to say our rush defense, I'm, I would rather take the chance of them running it than fields and the receivers just getting out of hand and they throwing it everywhere because then they can run the ball anyway because you, you're trying to figure out how to stop the passing game. So I want to stop the passing game. I want them to run it. You can't take away everything, so I'm going to take away what they do best, and that's pass the ball with fields. So, with that being said, on offense, <laughs> this is where it gets really sad for us. On offense, find the mismatches. Find your mismatches. Everybody's got a weakness. Everybody's got a mismatch. Find it, whether that's getting Blake Corum or – Evans on a linebacker, find it. Find the mismatch, whether it's getting a receiver on a linebacker. You have to find a way to keep moving the ball and, and make plays. You have to get it. This, this is a playmaker game. This is where your playmakers step up. Get it to these playmakers and let them make plays. And with that being said, the running game. Haskins needs to get most of the carries because he runs tough and he knows how to make something out of nothing, which our offensive line is giving nothing half the time on run blocking. So you're going to need that dude in there trying to make something out of nothing. But what I would want to do also with the running backs is like uh, Corum and Evans, I'm not just going to run them into the flats. I'm going to run them into the flats, but I'm also going to have them fake to the flats and go to the middle, make, switch it up. And that's, that goes into my next point. Don't get complacent and just start calling the same thing over and over. Mix up the play calling, like do your job. You sitting there calling the same plays all game is not doing your job. That's, that's just, anybody can do that. Anybody can call the same plays over and over. I mean, if they're working, but we seem to do it when they ain't even working. Like, we don't have a backup plan. Coach, can can we see some good coaching from somebody, please? This is the one game that you need to have some good coaching and stuff. Make it happen. Let's see. If if our if our pass protection can't protect, give them help. Was it, whoa, I just came with something profound, didn't I? If if the if the O-line needs help protecting the quarterback, you give them help with extra blockers. Oh Ohio State's gonna do that. Because they know we're gonna blitz. So I don't care if they're rushing four. If you have to give them extra, the, the O-line help, you give them help. Whether you have to put in two tight ends and a running back or a tight end stays in a block and you have to leave a running back in. 
You have to do what you have to do to make plays. If your quarterback don't have time, you have to give him extra protection. It's simple as that. It's, it's not hard. It's just smart coaching. <laughs> so doing these things, I mean, we still – I'm just trying to say what we could do to have a chance somehow. But if if our if our guys come out there like they don't even want to play the game, it ain't going to matter because you're going to have to put the effort and the heart into it to try to play with these dudes. So if they don't come out there with the right mindset, then – it ain't going to matter what we come out in. They're going to they gonna get ran off the field because they're not ready to play. But if these dudes have to have the mindset that they actually can play with them, they actually can do something great, for at least for a game. They have to have the mindset that we can do this. We're we about to do something great, one thing good and great for the season. I'm not sure who's going to be the quarterback. I'm not sure is McNamara still hurt or is it going to be Joe. But you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. Whoever's the starter. Gaddis, call plays to make them, to make them comfortable and be successful. You I mean, it is what it is. I'm just telling you what I would do. <laughs> what I would do. But you got to make these dudes believe that they can play with them. If they don't have no belief, then it don't matter what you do. They have to believe that they can play with them. They might not. They might not even have any belief that they can even play with these dudes, especially this season. But hey, I'm just telling you what I would do <laughs> if I was the coach and how to instill some 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 fight and some want to out of these out of these boys. To yeah, you had a bad season, but you can do something that hasn't been done at Michigan for for a while. So that that right there is doing something great. But hey, we're going to see. I might do another video and just rant because it's just I'm seeing a lot of heartless stuff, no heart from whether it's fans, whether it's how the school's acting. I just don't like it. If you if you want to take a beating if you're scared of a, a beating, then you ain't a man to me. If you're scared of to take a beating, that's just how I am, though. I'm the type of person that if you beat me in the game, no, nah, don't go nowhere. We 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 playing again. I can take I can take a beating all day until I'm tired. And then I come back the next day. What's up? I'm going to figure out how to beat you. That's, I'm going to figure out how to beat you. You think you're just going to keep beating me? No, I'm going to figure it out. Whether it takes me beating after beating, I'm going to figure it out. Don Brown, <laughs> you're taking beatings. You seem to keep, you won't resign or anything. So <laughs> can you figure it out? You're just so stubborn. You want to do what you want to do. Stubbornness in, in, in this game Gets you beat. You have to adapt and adapt on the fly. It ain't like it ain't a secret what they like to do. But can you figure out a defense to slow them down? If the if the offense just so happens to get 30 points, be able to score 30 points or or 35, can you hold them to somewhere in there? Or they gonna come out and score sixty or seventy? <laughs> I was I was arguing with someone, somebody on Facebook talking about some. You you just need great you just need great offense nowadays. You just need great offense. You gotta score forty or all, close to forty. And he just was so adamant on that. And I said, "What's what's scoring forty gonna do when they scoring 60? <laughs> Then he didn't say anything else. <laughs> he just stopped commenting. What's you need defense? <laughs> you always need defense because you're gonna need a couple stops or you're gonna need some turnovers. That's just that's just crazy to even talk like that. <laughs> yeah, you, you 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 can score forty, but they got sixty or seventy. You, you're gonna lose, man. You need defense. 
You need you can have great offense. You still need a good defense. <laughs> That's all I got, man. <laughs> That's all I got for this one, y'all. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. Just just uh, play a decent game. Don't play horrible. We gonna we gonna chop it up some more about this one because it's it's the game. I'm gonna get, let's give it the respect it deserves. I'm gonna do another video and talk about it. And I might just rant, but uh. As always, like, share, subscribe, and as always, go blue.